It's Friday, August 2nd. I'm Sam Cedar. And I'm Lucy Steiner. Which one of these stories will you be talking about today? Another day, another GOP retirement. This time it's the lone black Republican in the House of Representatives. Meanwhile, the Pentagon prepares to withdraw thousands of troops from Afghanistan as part of a proposed peace deal with the Taliban. And lastly, good morning, Nancy Pelosi. More than half of House Democrats now say they'll vote to launch impeachment proceedings against Donald Trump. You're listening to Majority.fm's AM Quickie. And these are the stories you need to know. Texas Congressman Will Hurd, the only African-American Republican in the House of Representatives, announced Thursday night he will not seek re-election in 2020. Hurd's abrupt decision to not seek re-election makes him the ninth Republican to announce his retirement this week. The Hill reports that Hurd's retirement is already hurting Republicans more than others since he represents a true swing district and because of his ability to, quote, appeal to portions of the electorate, some in the GOP have been unable to. Let me fix that. All of the GOP have been unable to. The Pentagon is preparing to withdraw thousands of troops from Afghanistan as part of a proposed peace deal with the Taliban. According to the Washington Post, the U.S. is willing to draw down between 8,000 and 9,000 troops from its current level of 14,000 in exchange for a Taliban ceasefire and the group's renunciation of al-Qaeda. The agreement would require the Taliban broker a peace deal directly with the Afghan government and give assurances the country won't be used as a launching pad for international terror attacks. Majority.fm's AM Quickie is fueled by JustCoffee.coop. Just Coffee is a worker-owned coffee roaster based in Madison, Wisconsin, that has sponsored the Majority Report for nearly a decade. Check out their collection of fair trade roasts, including our own Majority Report blend. And regardless of what you order, receive 10% off your order when you use the code MAJORITY at checkout. And all shipping is free. That's coupon code MAJORITY at JustCoffee.coop. Over half of House Democrats now support opening an impeachment inquiry into President Donald Trump, making this the first time a majority is on record in favor and increasing pressure, obviously, on Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Florida Congressman Ted Deutsch was the tipping point announcing his support Thursday morning and citing the evidence the Judiciary Committee has found in its investigations into Donald Trump. Deutsch's announcement indicates that the appeal of impeachment is going beyond the party's activist and left-leaning wings to moderate members in swing districts. With a diverse majority of the caucus on board, it's going to be difficult for House Leader Nancy Pelosi and her supporters to stop Democrats from going after Trump. And now for what we're following today, some quicker quickies. Quicker quickie. Daily Beast reports that former Kansas Secretary of State Chris Kobach has been using a nonprofit group he advises to raise money for his U.S. Senate campaign. Legal experts say one recent fundraising push likely ran afoul of federal campaign finance laws. Surprise, surprise. From the Washington Post, three NRA board members who raised concerns about reports of reckless spending and mismanagement by the group's leadership resigned Thursday. Just another sign of mounting dissent within the nation's most powerful gun rights group. The New York Times, the Manhattan District Attorney's Office has subpoenaed the Trump Organization requesting documents related to hush money payments to Stormy Daniels. And the FBI, for the first time, has identified fringe conspiracy theories as a domestic terrorist threat. This according to a previously unpublicized document obtained by Yahoo News. Quicker! Quickie! That's it, folks. Thanks for listening to Majority.fm's AM Quickie. Lucy? Thank you, Sam. Don't forget to check out the Majority Report today at noon, wherever your podcasts are found.